Okay, so I guess we'd park here. All right. All right, folks, we are here at the Meridian Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saint Temple. It's my understanding that this temple has uh, was built about two years ago. Uh, how far from where we're staying, Wayne, um, in Boise? About 10 miles. About 10 miles. We're going to get out. We're going to walk around a little bit. We're going to talk about it. I did notice that when we were coming here that they have uh, steak uh, buildings. In other words, other church locations. This wouldn't be, per se, where everybody would go to church. This is the temple. They have stakes in uh, Boise, and um, so there were several of those buildings that I saw on the way here. Um, so we're going to get out of the vehicle, and we're going to see what we can see, all right? There is no doubt. <laughs> that when you see something as beautiful uh, structurally and architecturally as this temple, um, I've seen other photos of, of temples um, that are, are stretched out through Utah, uh, Arizona, Idaho. This is a beautiful, beautiful structure. I am assuming that that is Moroni with his trumpet up there. We are going to talk a little bit about this. We're going to go up close. Uh, yes, of course y'all can go online and see Google images of this temple. Or, or you know, some of y'all know about it, some of y'all do not. But this is just a way for old KJ to just take all this in. Uh, take all of the... the you know, we, we talked about, we have talked about, uh, and, and y'all know on my channel, I have stated that you cannot blanket this whole religion with what Chad and Lori Daybell did. You just can't do that. Uh, I have researched, and I do understand that they do a lot of good in the community. Um, you know, there are a lot of faithful people in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And um, they, they do a lot of uh, charity work and um, are just worshiping in the religion that they want to worship in. If you look off to this, you see the mountains. You see the beauty of everything. I'm going to hand this camera to my husband, Wayne, who's the, and we're going to go forward. He's going to, uh, well, let's get up close. Then we'll have a little discussion. As we walk, it's a beautiful, beautifully kept grounds. The stained glass windows are absolutely gorgeous. Good boy. And... If you notice, they have like a, a place out here where people can come and sit. Uh, as many of y'all know, we would not be allowed to go in here unless we were members. So we're just going to kind of walk around a little bit and just look at the beauty of this, uh, of this temple. We'll try to get up in there. You see this, the beautiful architecture. You want to say hello to everyone, Wayne? Good morning, everybody. So we're we're gonna walk over here, huh? Yeah, we're gonna walk around it, completely around it, y'all, just to give y'all a view of it before we go into our discussion. The grounds 
these are kept very, very, uh, very nice grounds. Now, I, don't, I believe it goes all the way around, but it might not. Oh, look over here. Y'all, do y'all realize it's it's probably about 48 degrees out here. Um, it's, it's sprinkling some today. It's supposed to be raining on and off, but as you notice, they have a, a beautiful little pine park setting here. I mean, down to, y'all, I'm just telling you, uh, old KJ's into rocks, and the, the actual, the, the actual naturalness of the grounds is absolutely gorgeous. And you know and I know that these trees, all of them, were planted on these grounds through the landscaping. Think about the beauty of all of that. Here we are again on the side of the Meridian Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saint Temple. What time is it, honey? What time is it? It's 8.45, and they've got people out here in the rain keeping these grounds looking like a beautiful, beautiful landscape. It's actually not raining that hard, but... <laughs> what did he say? It wasn't that hard. Wasn't that hard. Well, somebody's out here. Y'all look at the surrounding. Let me let me zone out a little bit so you can see off in the distance. Now, why is KJ bringing you here? Well, again, y'all can go and see images of this new temple that has been here about two years. But folks, this is old KJ coming to you. I want to talk to y'all about this temple. I want to talk about the fact that that uh, we can look at the pictures. We can see what it looks like. But why not be there? That's what I want for all of you. The Rays are here to check this out. So what I, what I need to, to stress to y'all is, is that temples have been built for many many years this is a more recent design what's interesting that i've noticed is you can't look into a window you can't look into a window to see people inside it's all stained glass uh, there's some uh, from my understanding through my research uh, this is a sacred place. This is, um, you know, a place where people come to worship, to whatever they do. Uh, unless you're a member there, you don't know what you're, they're doing in there. But again, there's a walkway all the way around the church. We're going to make our way back around to the front. Holiness to the Lord, the house of the Lord is what it says up on the top header there. Just to give you some context, you see a main road out here that's traveled. I don't know what's going to uh, be built across away there. Could be. Now, let me just let me be clear with you. This is the temple, but over here, if you'll see the brown building with the steeple, that is also what I've noticed Come on my way here. There are several buildings on the way to this temple. I'm assuming, and maybe out of my ignorance, these are stakes. These are worship centers that are separate from the temple. I 
think it's interesting to, to point out that, you know, what if we were not covering this case? What if we didn't know anything about any of this? We were just here. We're taking a tour of it. The, the beauty and the majesty, the gorgeous nature of it, it, it it's breathtaking. And it's absolutely immaculate. It's absolutely gorgeous. So we are back around to the front again. Again, this is the Meridian Temple that was built about two years ago. 2017. Huh? 2017. 2017, excuse me. Did you see that on something? What did you see it? On the building. Where at? Okay, well, Wayne, what did you say? The building was wrecked in 2017. It was erected 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. Oh, it's been more than two years. And it took my hubby to tell me that. Now let's step up here. Wayne, you stand here. Let's center that. All right. You got me close up? But you still have the temple in the back. Yep, I do. All right, folks, so this is the first time OKJ's ever been to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saint Temple. I originally thought it was uh, two years because somebody had said that, but Wayne noticed on the one of the Buildings. building sides there that this was in... Erected 2017. 2017. So it is a newer building. It's just not... A most recent video, uh, video, a most recent building that has been built. Now, in my research, there have been other uh, temples that are planned to be erected. Uh, the locations you can Google them up, like Christy K. Easton always says, and and know that that these beautiful grounds and all of of this is. It's almost like an outward extension of what they want others to see. Let's stop for a minute. Let's let's talk about this. At one point, Melanie P said she thought about moving to Boise. This could have very well been one of the temples that she would attend here uh, in Meridian, which is right there. How far from is Meridian from Boise, right? Ten miles. Ten miles tops. So when you look at this beautiful, beautiful temple and you see the grounds and you see all the, the, the fountain, the trees, the grounds and all of that, it looks so majestic, does it not? You have the stained glass where you cannot see what goes on inside. Uh, you have to be able to have membership in order to go into the temple temple recommend and um, so there is some what they consider a sacred secret or whatever for people like us some of y'all maybe are LDS but a lot of y'all do not know anything pretty much about any of this but what I want to bring out is and I want you to look at me as I tell you this there very well might be a member or two or three that might end up on the jury on the April 3rd trial of Chad and Lori Daybell. You got to stop and think about that. Do y'all remember about, I don't know, probably six months into this channel opening, we went over the concentration of LDS within the state of Idaho. The closer you got to Rexburg, Madison County, and then the southern portion bottom of Idaho there was more concentration as you move out into the areas of Boise and uh, and in this case Meridian which is only 10 miles from Boise the concentration lessens and then as you move up northward there is even less there now why is that important because there is this question that 
not only did Rexburg not have um, a place basically in terms of the people that live there who should have been part of the jury of this trial. There's more people in Boise, as we all know, more people to go through uh, jury voir dire, to question uh, these potential jurors for this upcoming trial. Remember, John Pryor says that he will not be ready by January the 9th, which is tomorrow, it, or it's today, isn't it, Wayne? January 9th was the deadline today for John Pryor and Archibald to turn in the questions they want to ask prospective jurors. Remember, John Pryor tried to get out of that, and Judge Boyce denied him that. So as we look at Boise, Idaho, and we look at this temple, this very well could have a juror that will eventually be picked for this trial. Also, let's, let's keep this in perspective. This trial is happening here in, A in Ada County, Boise, Idaho. There is no way that people that attend this temple along with the stakes here cannot be talking about this right now, knowing that this is coming closer to them. You go from Rexburg all the way to Boise. This is the place within the community where this trial will take place. So you have to wonder what everyone is talking of, speaking of in this community, whether it would be an issue for a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to pet, take part in the jury and be a jury member. Also, one has to ask the question, will they be sitting out in the gallery? Does Will anyone want to come to this trial that is part of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints? I want to make myself clear. I've always made myself clear. Just because I do not believe in other religions or whatever. Here in America, everyone deserves the right to worship however they worship, whoever they worship. My problem and my concern is that um, people take whatever, whatever religion they're in and twist it. And that's exactly what Chad and Lori Daybell did. We've got to keep in mind, y'all, that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints cannot, you cannot put a blanket. I mean, that would be ignorance. That would be bigotry. We cannot do that. This basically comes down to no matter what you believe, you make a conscious decision, whether it's out of your religious faith or not, to take another human life. And in this case, this is just my view. Others have different views. The bottom line is, is no matter what the religion is, okay, no matter what it is, no matter who these murderers, what religion they go to, or twist, or go out on the fringe of, they make a conscious decision to absolutely break the law and murder other people. That's where I have an issue. That's where I have a problem. And make no mistake, y'all. I'm not stupid. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is, a, they have to be. Absolutely. They can't ignore this. They might publicly ignore this. But they are speaking of this. They are talking about this. They are well aware of how this makes them look. Which is unfortunate, really. Because if any of y'all, and I have, researched this religion, whether I believe they're right or wrong in their beliefs, which is absolutely none of my business, the bottom line is, is they do a lot, not only for uh, this, the country here in the United States, but around the world. Uh, they do a lot of charity work. They help a lot of people. And there are, I would say, 90, 99.99% of them are law-abiding, tax-paying people that are kind to others and care for others. That is my opinion. You know, the 
bottom line is, is we are here today at a temple where these people come in and worship. And because we don't know, well, let me just speak for myself, because I don't know what goes on in there. I don't know about their rituals. I don't know about their ceremonies. Is it my place? Is it? Is it my place to say something nefarious is going on? Is that my lens? Am I really gonna go there? We have to, we have to look at this in terms of personal responsibility, folks. The fact that there are sociopathic people in this world, people with mental illness, people that are just downright diabolical and evil like Chad and Lori. Make no mistake, not this temple, maybe, maybe this temple. Who knows if Lori ever visited this temple or Chad Daybell ever visited this temple. What I'm telling you now is that there are people, more and more people, coming to the realization that in terms of this religion, things are, I guess, getting a little out of hand. It really is. And way outside the norms of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This is just my view. This is what I am seeing. So, although we see this beautiful temple the grounds, uh, the fact that here in Boise there is some LDS concentration, not at all like Rexburg or Madison counties, which we will go there later this week. The bottom line is, is that you cannot put a blanket statement. You see the beauty of it? What goes on indoors? Uh, if we're not members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, it's none of our business. It really isn't. It becomes our business, y'all. When people in the community get murdered, and they do, that is where the judicial system comes in. That's because we're going through the adjudication process. This is what we are speaking of. So, leave your, your comments. If you have any questions about any of this today, I'm gonna let Wayne pan around to the temple a little bit have any questions about what I see or anything of that sort, please leave it in the messages. I'll try to answer some of the questions, but if you're going to ask me what goes on in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I can tell you this right now. I can for sure say it. There is no doubt. Nobody wanted to see this trial happen at all. Nobody wanted this kind of cloud over their religion. Nobody wanted to see it, but now that it has become a reality, it is my hope that people will, in their community, start talking, start figuring out the best way and the